بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إن شئت سهلا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أمين الحمد لله الحمد لله for all the blessings Allah عز وجل has bestowed upon us we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for providing us with the sustenance to be able to live a life of dignity. But most of all, alhamdulillah, Allah blessed us with the deen of Islam and chose us to be among the followers of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after he migrated from Mecca to Medina, Along with his mission of delivering the message of Islam, he was also tasked, he was tasked with building a strong Muslim community that later on became the backbone of the Muslim Ummah. The Prophet wasallam was faced with many challenges. He was faced with many challenges and among these challenges was to bring together tribes that were divided and faced numerous internal issues. An Abdullah bin Salam and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Ayyuhan nas afshu salam wa at'imu al-ta'am wa silu al-arham wa sallu bil-layl wa nasu niyam tadikhulu al-janna bi salam Abdullah bin Salam said he heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say O people, spread the greeting of peace, feed others, uphold the ties of kinship, and pray during the night when people are sleeping and you will enter paradise in peace. In this hadith, the Prophet wasallam he presented to the people of Medina, and this hadith was narrated when he first entered Medina, and he gave the people there this first piece of advice and instructions. He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give peace and to spread peace within the community. And these prerequisites are to build a healthy community. Spreading Salam denotes not harming others on one level, but on the higher level is also to protect those within the community who need it, which means that this community should be a safe haven for those who reside in it. الطعام, is not only to feed others, but to give the support and assistance to those who need it, the vulnerable people in our communities. Upholding the ties of kinship, وصلوا arham by having a strong base within our communities and our communities start with a family and if this family is, has a strong foundation has a strong foundation and the families within the community all has a, have a strong base, base this community will surely strive and pray at night when others are sleeping brings us back to the core of pure intentions. When we pray at night and no one else sees us, this is the core of pure intentions, that we are doing this solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these acts increase our sincerity, our inner energy and our special strength being continuously collected, connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and increasing our spiritual purity. Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his beautiful manners and etiquettes was able to transform a once devastated community into one that made history. Training his companions with the divine support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be amongst those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. 
building a community with strong bonds, supporting each other and being there for one another in order to fulfill their purpose, benefiting anyone and everyone that seeks their assistance, upholding justice and values, and seeking the hereafter without compromise. As a Muslim community in America, we are facing many of these same challenges. We are a small minority with different backgrounds and cultures. And we are, للأسف, and I say it with sorrow, with sorrow, somewhat divided. And this is causing a generational gap. Ikhna Relief USA provides a platform for our Muslim community in the United States bringing together our community members from different ages, ethnicities, and cultures to implement Islamic values as we serve our community all over the country, giving our youth an opportunity to be part of a shared mission that not only increases their commitment of upholding their Islamic values, but also gives them pride to be Muslim so they may carry on this mission and pass it down for generations to come. With sincerity, sacrifice, and service, Ikhna Relief is dedicated in assisting and empowering underprivileged Americans through sustainable social services and social service programs. With our network of women's transitional homes, providing shelters to homeless sisters and their children, and affording them the opportunity to heal and develop themselves with a nurturing environment. Sisters are provided with one-on-one -on -one support while they transition to permanent housing. Ikhna Relief's hunger prevention program targets impoverished communities and provides individuals and families with the fuel to survive and to thrive following the ordinance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to feed the needy from hot meal distributions to the homeless to feeding the homeless to food box distributions our teams are helping our neighbors in need while adhering to proper protocols and procedures our Muslim family services program aids new refugees and the families who need it most through resources and assistance and education. Facilitating the growth of families within our community and developing a community with a strong bond of humanity. Our health services program, which consists of free health clinics and, a free, and free mobile health clinics that go all around the country providing health care to those who are underinsured or uninsured to those families who need support with their health, with education. These families, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, they benefit from Ikhna Relief's health services program. Our disaster relief services program, alleviating the struggles of families that go through natural and man-made disasters whether it be a hurricane, whether it be a tornado, whether it be an earthquake or any other type of, of natural disaster or man-made disaster such as the one that we saw just last week or just the, the, the beginning of this week in Texas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Our disaster relief services spreads awareness and educates the community in preparedness, how to prepare for these disasters, as well as responding to these disasters and, with it, and recovering and helping the community recover from these types of disasters. And finally, our back to school program, which empowers students to fulfill their rights of seeking an education by providing them the dignity of having the proper tools and the proper supplies in place so they can get the proper education as well as empowering the educators with grants 
for the classroom, for the tools that they also need in the classroom to succeed in educating our, our, our generations. It is our duty as a Muslim Ummah residing in the West that we all put our efforts together in making a difference. Bi'idhnillah. قال الله تعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى الله سبحانه وتعالى says cooperate in righteousness and piety الحمد لله we as a community have a strong foundation with ikna relief an asset we can utilize to take us forward in continuing our long-term efforts and growth putting aside our differences in order to achieve the ultimate success we all long for which is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving to make the home we all share a better place to live by following the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of spreading peace of feeding the hungry, of maintaining the ties of kinship, praying at night when others are asleep, to build a lasting community for generations to come, so we may all fulfill our ultimate goal of entering paradise in peace. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who enter paradise in peace and follow the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakallah khair, barakallah feekum, wa akhir da'awana, and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.